World Championships is the peak of the season for the senior teams. So preparations of the year are geared towards the senior World Championships. And up to this point, the season was successful. I think uh, we have both uh, teams well balanced, men's and, and women's. And I think uh, they should demonstrate in uh, Kaohsiung, Taiwan, that they belong to the top teams in the world. We've literally just started our new training programme for the next four weeks, which will uh, take us up to, we're going up to altitude next week for two and a half weeks. And then we've got a week back down here before we fly off to World Championships. So we have a lot of hard work to come, which is slightly daunting. <laughs> It's quite hard to go to a pentathlon and say that you're going to win because there's so many variables and so many different things that can happen. So I'm going there with the aim of getting on the podium and if I do that then I'll be very happy. Well, it was amazing. It was uh, kind of hard to put into words how like pleased I was and, and just quite surprised as well that I managed to finally pull something out of the bag and, and win. And, um, yeah, it's great to feel on top of the world for even just a moment. I'm not sure how I feel about defending a title because I've never actually been in the situation of um, that before. So I haven't overly thought about it, but obviously there is pressure, but there's never any more pressure on me than I put on myself. So that's the same as every other year. So just now I'm feeling okay about it. I'm training hard and, and focused on, on that competition. So uh, yeah, let's just see how it goes really. Yeah, it's the World Championships. I'm not under any pressure to compete well. I mean, um, obviously I have the ability to do really well, but it's a case of doing it on the day and, and making the day go your way. I can just do my best, that's all I can do, and stay as focused as possible. Um, and I think the focus is the difficult bit when you know that, that you, are, you are a champion and you have won medals and people look at you and almost expect you to be up there and to do well and almost you kind of expect that of yourself. So that's kind of where the pressure comes from but in, for me it's the case of going through that routine and taking each sport at a time and getting through the day, making the final and then getting through the final. Um, I was at the Europeans two weeks ago and, and I was on for a medal but I didn't focus well enough in my shooting and as a result I, I didn't finish on the podium. So it can go wrong so so easily and it's a case of um, maintaining your focus and concentration and not taking anything for granted and just realising that okay yeah you can be up there but you have to work as hard as possible to do it. I'm, I'm an Olympic medalist from the home Olympics, I have a silver medal, it's the last Olympic medal from the Olympic Games. It's so special and it's mine, I have it, you know, it's, I know I've answered this question so many times but you, I can have bad days, I can be bad at something, it can all go wrong, then I think, you know what, I pulled it off on that day and that's going to be mine forever and what a feeling to have, to have that. As a modern pentathlete, we use the facilities um, of the sports training village. Most people, when they walk into the, the sports training village, they're kind of taken back at how state of the art it is, and just it's so impressionable. I have a 50 metre swimming pool, I have this combined range, I have great fields that are well managed and well kept where I can run around the university. It's also a really safe campus to be on. Um, we have a fencing hall, we have shooting facilities, uh, a nice running track. So. It's a lovely place to train and also a great gym. We have everything we need here and, and I think it's quite easy to take that for granted sometimes when you have it every day for free. Um, but you go like down the road to another sports centre and you just see how actually amazing it is here and also go abroad and see where other people train you realise, wow, we are really lucky to have this really incredible facility on our doorsteps and available for us to use. I moved to Bath in uh, October 1999 so I was uh, lucky to be part of the uh, sort of team who managed the sports training de village developments. Uh, I've been able to secure very high quality uh, training facilities for modern pentathlon. And also there's a very strong element in our program, which is the working together with the academic side of the institution, because our athletes come to Bath 
not just for training, but also to prepare for the future life after sports.